morning. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice caught in my throat there. Um, it is Tuesday, um, June 20, 25th. I can't believe June is almost over. Isn't that crazy? The year's going by really fast. It's been a wild year, you guys. So many things. Tomorrow is one of Robbie's recruitment appointments. He goes, I'm having a really hard time with the fact that he signed up to go to the front lines. It's like, in my head, I keep seeing my little boy running out into danger. Sorry about the lighting. The sun is coming right through that window. My little boy. He said the contract that he signed, um, when he is deployed, he won't even, his, his phone will get shut off. Like, he won't. He won't be allowed to contact me when he's deployed. Which means I'm going to spend the, the majority of the next five years not knowing where my boy is. Not knowing if it's okay. Not knowing if he's hungry or cold or, or alive. When he told me that, I broke down and burst into tears. He's like, Mom, it's okay. Why are you so emotional about this? He's like, I'm leaving everything I've ever known. And I'm not that emotional. And I said, I know, because it's different for you. This is an adventure for you. It's the beginning of his life without me. And for me, it's my little baby. I was leaving and not coming up. Between this and all the stuff I'm going through with my adopted daughter, and I'd almost losing Tilk earlier this year. It's a lot. It's a lot. We'll find out this week when he's leaving. But he said he told his recruiting officer that he'd like to go as soon as possible because he really is excited about this. It's not like I'm saying goodbye to him to go to college where he could still FaceTime me and talk to me and stuff. Or even if he was moving far away, I know that I could still I could still talk to him. But he's gonna be he's gonna be at war. And I'm scared that he's not gonna come back. And if he comes back, he's not going to be the same. I used, to, I used to work at nursing homes and take care of veterans. I know that the trauma that battle can inflict on them, that sometimes they don't come back whole, mentally or physically. And that the prospect. This is so hard. He's trying really hard to impart all of his brotherly wisdom on the younger kids before he goes. And that's creating tension, especially with Bray Tech. It's like. He's like, I don't, I don't want you to 
be a parent to me. I just want you to be my brother and just be here. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna get through the next five years. Not knowing where my kid is. Not knowing how he's doing. I already have a hard time looking at news about wars and stuff because I just think about how many how many mothers are watching their sons die. I know that might end up being me. I'm knowing. I won't be able to be there to comfort him when he cries. I won't I won't be able to be there to make sure he's got a home cooked meal and a safe place to sleep. And the fact that he's running from the safety I provided to go into this really scary thing. It's really hard. I'm sorry you guys, I didn't mean to cry so much. I just... I'm having a hard time with this. Look, there's something to dry my tears. <laughs> uh. <sighs> My daughter's bio sister sent me some more videos last night. Most of it was just kind of hilarious. <sighs> but it's so, it's so sad. I just picked up the one and flash up my finger. It's still so sad. Dylan was crying too because of Bobby wanting to go to the front lines. Dylan wants to work on like, vehicles and stuff here on here on US soil. He's crying. He said, Mom, I can't believe he's doing this. He's putting himself in danger. I wish there was a way I could talk him out of it, but it's too late. He's already signed it. He had promised me that he wouldn't sign up for something so dangerous that he wouldn't go to the front lines. And then he signed up for it anyway. And he didn't want to tell me because he didn't want me to be worried. But then he told me what job he signed up for. It's airborne artillery. I still thought he was going to be closer. And then one of my friends who had wrote a reference letter for him, she was... She was in the military of her whole life. She said, actually, um, airborne artillery is from lines. I, I was devastated and I asked him, like, did you sign up for the front lines? He said, yeah. he has to go to boot camp and basic and then some specialized training so his his um four years doesn't actually start till he's through all of that so it's going to be closer to five years <laughs> if something happens to Tilk at that time I won't even be able to get a hold of him But if something happens to one of the other kids, or to me, or to my husband, I won't even be able to find him. I won't even be able to talk to him.
so many things. I'm so scared for him. And it hasn't even started. He says he'll be able to only call home a few times a year. A few times a year. I became a stay-at-home mom because I, I didn't want I want to spend as much time with my kids as I could. Because I only get 18 years with them before they go. And then it, everything changes and everything's different. And I wanted to make those 18 years the best I possibly could. Every birthday, every Christmas, every, every day. They say that 90% of the time that you spend with your kids for their whole life is over by the time they turn 18. I never imagined that one of my kids would take a job that would mean that I could only talk to them for a few minutes a couple times a year. And that I wouldn't know if they were alive or dead for most of the time. be happy for him, but this is so hard. This is so, so hard. I just, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to deal with this. And of course he's been wanting to spend most of his time with his friends, not sitting at home with his mom. I get it, I understand. I just my little boy is going away. He's going away. He said that he doesn't know for sure if he'll be allowed to like watch YouTube but they do have leisure time. It's not a lot. So I'm gonna make videos that will have his name in the title, specific ones every once in a while so that I can just like, talk to him. Hope he gets it. Especially after almost losing Tilk, coming face to face with that reality that one of my kids could just be gone forever. The idea of not knowing. Not knowing that he's okay. Not knowing if he's hurt. I wonder if he needs something. Looking for my black palette, I can't find it. I'm very tech when I made it do something dramatic today. Because I've kind of done the same makeup every day for a few days. It looks pretty close to the same. I can't find my black one. I need to stop crying or it's just gonna run everywhere. I'm trying so hard to be strong because this is really affecting the other kids too. And especially the little ones. Hi, baby. 
the steel just coming by. I guess I'm gonna use this palette. I didn't go to the gym yesterday. Instead, I spent the day cleaning, like extra cleaning. Because sometimes, it, like, I just did not have the energy to do both. <sighs> so I just did, did the extra cleaning, clean the closet, clean the kids' closet, um, put away the laundry, and you know, or reorganized it. Because, okay, so we don't have dressers. You don't, we don't have space for a lot of dressers. So everybody has their laundry in their specific basket. And I go through and refold it fairly frequently to make sure it's neat. Um, you know, always trying to keep stuff as organized as I can, um, which is a lot of work. And I went through my clothes too, because, you know, since I've lost some weight and gotten more toned, some of my pants were kind of falling off of me, so I went through my clothes and got rid of some stuff. Um, I I did a little bit of drawing, not a lot. Drew a picture for somebody I knew from high school. It was cute. He offered to pay for it. I was like, actually, I just drew it for you because you cheered me up the other day. But if you really want to pay me, but you can. You don't have to because. This was a gift. You want some pop? Um, in a little bit, okay? Right now I'm doing my video and then I'll then we'll say okay. Oh, another thing that we like to do, one of my hobbies, and I, can, I don't do it very often because it's expensive, but um, I like to buy stuff from specialty grocery stores like um, Yami Buy is like an Asian grocery store that like will ship stuff to you. And, um, and we also did Universal Yums. Those are fun. Uh, and both of those came yesterday. So we, we were having fun with that. I'll get you, honey, right now I'm doing my video. I'll get you some a little bit, okay? And he's asking for the specialty like drinks that I ordered from Yummy Buy. We don't do it very often because it's expensive, but we, we try to like try some exotic foods and stuff. Where we live, <coughs> can I try it first and then I'll give you some? Okay, yeah, because I want to try it too. This is this one came in the Universal Yum's box. And it just tastes like grape soda. Okay. Yep, okay. Don't spill it. Um. Oh. Well, this one doesn't wanna. This color called Luna is picking up really well, but the one called Dark Moon is not. Anyway, um, so. We started doing those uh, food box things. You put it on the table? Okay, honey. Uh, I think in 2020, to keep ourselves entertained. Yeah. Where we live, we don't even have fast food. We have a couple of restaurants. Um, and in, in the summertime, about twice a month, a food truck comes by for tacos. They actually, the people that own the food truck live here, but most of their business, they take the truck outside of town, like to bigger towns, which makes sense. Um, but every time the taco truck comes to town, we get tacos. <laughs> because, you know, supporting local businesses and it's a fun change up from me having to cook everything. <sighs> um, 
Yeah, I know nobody's awake. Well, it's just you and me. I'm just gonna say you Cause you you're gonna share? Yeah. That's but, nice of you. But no one's awake. That's okay. You can drink some of it and then leave it on the table if you want. <coughs> um. Anyway, we do the. So we do we do the exotic food boxes, and um. We'll all sit around. And, unfortunately, my husband can't eat a lot of this stuff because it's, especially if it's labeled in another language, uh, we don't know what the ingredients are. And if it has dairy in it, he'll get sick. I did find some things that he could have, but usually it's just me and the kids. And um, our Universal Yum's box yesterday, I was going to videotape it, but it ended up being too chaotic. Um, it was from the from the UK and which is like a lot of the stuff from the UK is like very very similar to stuff we have here in the US. The one thing that I haven't tried yet is the um, Yorkshire pudding which actually looks like popovers. <coughs> so I'm going to try making that maybe today or soon. Um, but yeah we kind of we hadn't done that in almost a year. We did it quite frequently in 2020 because everything was closed and we were bored. And so like we did, we did a lot of like of those food subscription boxes. We did HelloFresh, we did Home Chef, <coughs> um, Universal Yum, Snack Crate. We did a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of those back then. I had to stop doing HelloFresh and Home Chef because somebody started stealing them and the boxes never got here. And after like four or five times of that happening, the company wasn't believing me that it was happening. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's not getting here. And they're like, yeah, right. They didn't believe me. And so I just had to stop ordering from them. That was unfortunate. Um, HelloFresh was easy though. It, like, I gained a lot of new skills. I learned how to make some cool things. Um, Home Chef had more complicated recipes. I learned how to make beef wellington, you guys. You know, like Gordon Ramsay, beef wellington. I thought that was cool. I always liked watching Hell's Kitchen. Although, I really hated that he screamed at people. I preferred the show um, that that Gordon Ramsay did with kids, because like he wasn't yelling at any, anybody, and seeing those kids make such amazing things was just incredible. Um, and uh, oh gosh, I'm still trying not to cry. Um, Braytex got me making a, a specific TikTok video that, like, he wants to edit himself. And he's like, you gotta do your makeup really dramatic today for the, the end part. He's, he's so good at that. Oh, and, um, Ronan has decided for sure that he wants to go out for acting. There's supposed to be a, a, a community day, um starting up in August. You want that? Here you go. It's mochi and it's got chocolate in the middle. It's really good. You like mochi. Um, but when he called the number, he didn't get a hold of anybody. So I'm really hoping he's able to get a hold of somebody. And then it is something I want to do with him. Um, so I hope that I'm, you know, able to. I don't think I'd be good at acting. I'm not, I don't know, I'm playful, but, and I do really good in front of my own camera. I can see my face and I can see if I'm looking awkward or cute. But when other people are taking pictures of me or something, I don't know how to behave. It's, that one's it's a, lot, a lot weirder. <coughs> So I don't really know. I'll probably just like try to do, 
like some backstage stuff, like costumes. I could do costumes. And makeup. I could definitely do makeup. Uh, but I definitely, because Ronan wants me to, to be a part of it with him, I definitely want to support him in the thing that he wants to do. You know, I heard that they're trying to institute a draft, you guys. I'm so scared of that. I'm so terrified. I don't like it. Of that what? You don't I like, like it? I don't like it. Okay, leave it on leave it on my desk. And we'll see if one of the other kids likes it. I'm trying to inst I like it. Oh, you do like it? No. You don't like it. But I bite it and you bite it, it, and it away. Oh. Yes. Well, I wish you wouldn't have thrown it away. That was yeah. from that from that box. Yeah, like that. I don't know. Okay, I please know. don't get into anything else from the box until I'm out there. The thing is, Ronan's 17, and he is not, he doesn't have the kind of personality that would want to be in war, not like Robbie does. And if they institute a draft, and I have to send, it's hard enough having to, having to watch Robbie go, because, but this is something he wants. But Ronan definitely, he's not a fighter like that. And if they institute a draft to make him go, I don't think it's fair to draft people. Because then, for one thing, if you draft people and make them fight against their will, they're not going to be good fighters. They're just not. They have to want it. Like, who wants to push themselves through? It, it's basically torture if you don't want it. You like some of them? Oh, you like those? Yeah, you can have that. I like some of them. I like some of them. Okay, you got it all wet. Now I can't open it. Okay, um, this is not. Maybe you can stick your little finger in that. But, like, if you make a bunch of young people that don't want to fight, fight in wars, it's, that's not good for anybody. I'm trying it. You're doing what? I'm trying to think. Uh-huh. It's wet. It's wet? Yeah. <coughs> I wasn't sure how this silvery look would look with this hair because like the hair is warm colors and this is cold colors, but it's actually pretty, pretty good. What? What? I was talking to the camera. There you go. There you go. Are we dancing? Should I do glitter? What do you think? Theo, should I put on some glitter? Yeah. Yeah? I really hope I can get this glitter again. Oh, you know what I should do that I haven't done in a while? I should do stamps. Which one is this? Ah, uh, it's flowers, not the butterfly one. Cause, well, I'm wearing flowers and butterflies, so I guess it wouldn't matter. There we go. Doing my makeup does always make me feel better. This is kind of it's kind of like therapeutic. Touching my face, being aware of my myself. If that makes sense. And then I, I love the way makeup changes my face, but just a little bit. I've seen some makeup artists 
that do really cool, like, they can make their face into, like, anybody's face or any character, and it's, that's, like, really cool. But, I don't know, I like to do my makeup in a way that enhances what I already have instead of um, changing it completely. I love, I love seeing those artists, though, where, like, one minute they're one person and then they're another person. I do wonder though, like how does that makeup actually look in real life versus on the camera? I try to avoid using filters. I don't have any filters on um, <clears throat> on this. A Sometimes I'll use specific filters on TikTok, like if you see like the blue or the, the purple where it makes it like really like, brightly colored and I'm pretty sure that that does have like a face slimming effect too. But most of the time I try to avoid filters <clears throat> because, I don't know, I mean for the most part I think that if you use filters all the time it can be really dishonest, both to yourself and your audience. So I do try to avoid them, but I do like the ones that have color effects. and white dress. Sorry about being so emotional. This is, this is just really hard. Nobody, nobody prepares you for the part of parenting where you have to say goodbye, especially if it can be so final. And it's the not knowing, the wondering, I'm going to see him again. He's got an appointment Wednesday and Thursday. After Thursday, we should we should have an idea of when he's leaving for boot camp and where he's going <coughs> for boot camp anyway. But he told me that after boot camp, because of the job he's chosen, he won't be able to tell me where he is anymore. try not to think about something. I overfunction even worse than I normally do. Yesterday I was so tired and I didn't want to do anything, but instead of just resting, I didn't go to the gym. I cleaned my closet, super cleaned my bedroom, put in the kids' room and the closet, did all the laundry, kitchen, dishes, living room, everything, plus like all the stuff I already do with, like anyway. <clears throat> I mean, I, I clean anyway you know but I like super clean like move everything and clean it uh, clean under it and I probably do that about once a week I I don't know I, I don't know if I'm gonna be absolutely paralyzed with with sorrow and fear or if I'm gonna be like hyper over functioning trying to keep my mind off of it we'll see I guess Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful day. Thank you so much for the kind comments. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for your support. If you're not already subscribed, there's a subscribe button right here or right here. Not sure. Somewhere up there. And more videos from my channel right down here. Um, I hope to see you again soon. Love you.